it's uh, quite um, good to see Interpol first of all in India in terms of interacting with the police and the customs officials because Interpol being an international agency which is usually not in any controversies which is a good thing uh, is uh, can be a very instrumental force in binding and getting coordination together between the customs and the uh, police officials which is not yet there they all are working very well in their own spaces but that coordination uh, needs to be built up and these kinds of occasions can bring them together in the same room to exchange uh, their problems and their learnings at the same time. So I would uh, sort of encourage and look forward to Interpol working more and in different regions of India. In India, the problem is quite widespread and it's across almost every sector. Uh, in our preliminary research, we saw there were around 27 sectors that we could actually identify very quickly and easily. The top being um, automotive components, uh, pharmaceuticals, fast-moving consumer goods, mobile, hardwares, and then we're talking about tobacco, liquor, which is quite rampant. Uh, but having said that, even lubricants, pesticides are all it's everywhere, let's put it that way. Uh, as to figures, they've been floating around. We're talking about 36% in the automotive components. We're talking, we're talking about around 5% in the pharma sector, which has been actually accepted by the government officially uh, when they were doing WHO negotiations on that uh, controversial issue. But it's all floating. It's not backed by you know a model which has been statistically proven or anything like that. There's a lot. And we in Cascade have identified that problem. And in December, we're going to be coming out with some kind of reliable data to you know expose the extent in these sectors that I just talked about. It's a uh, really really important to uh, make the people aware it's not about awareness generally within the police or the customs only it's about the general consumer to be aware that whatever they are picking has a chance of being a counterfeit and the fact that it is going to be consumed by them in some way maybe as a food product maybe as a uh, skin cream and the kind of impact it can have short term or long term on their health is really crucial um, and in that sense we at Cascade have worked with the Ministry of Consumer Affairs to come out with a full blown campaign and our ongoing activities are really on an outreach focus.